this lesson, we'll talk about case statements. On our front panel, you can see we have an enum and we have a Boolean switch. On our block diagram, there's our enum and our switch. What we are going to do is to lay down a case statement which comes from the programming case structures. We draw the case statement. We're going to start by wiring the switch to our case statement. Switch ha switches have two cases, a true and a false. We're going to just do something in here and say, let's say, yes in this one and no in this one. We'll go back to our true case. We need something to wire to. We're going to put a string indicator out here. There's our string. We're going to wire out to our string. Notice that the terminal right there is still white. The reason it's white is because it does not have something feeding it from every possible case. When we wire our no to it, you can see it turns pink again and program is, should be ready to run. We're going to run this and as we switch we see we get yes and no's. Cases do not have to be just true and false. In this case we're going to do a case that contains multiple items. We're going to wire this to our enum. Our enum has selections of one, item one, item two, and item three, which represent zero, one, and two. Notice that we're, we have item two, item one is the default. There must be a default case for each one. And if we want an item three, we have to go to add case after. And now we have an item three. So if we go back to here, we're going to drop our thing that says this is one, wire to the output to our string. We now need to do one for this case that says, yep, two, and wire that. And then there, our third case is another one that says, finally three. And if we go over here now and execute our program, we see that as we change our enum, our string output changes equally. That's all there is to it.